In the early days of the MCU, the on-screen romances we saw were less than compelling more often than not. Pepper Potts stood out as a compelling character, and one who could put up with Tony Stark, which is much easier said than done. We'll talk about the surprisingly important role she played in Avengers Endgame, and how she could even help shape the future of the MCU as we move into Phase 4 and beyond. Despite not having any superpowers, Pepper Potts has always been one of the most impressive characters in the MCU. Seriously, we know it's easy to get hung up on all the heroes flying around blasting things apart, but let's take a moment to appreciate just how great Pepper Potts is at being a human. Okay, now let's get back to the superhero stuff. In the lead up to Avengers Endgame, we had a few supposed leaks courtesy of actress Gwyneth Paltrow. During an interview, she spoke about the character of Pepper Potts and how things would be different for her following the decimation. She talked about her relationship with Tony and said they have a child together. Fans immediately wondered if Tony's dream about Pepper being pregnant in Infinity War may have been more than simply just a dream. Others suspected it was a classic case of Marvel misdirection, or perhaps Paltrow was speaking about Tony Stark's fake son, Peter Parker. But pretty early on in Endgame, we learned that Pepper and Tony did indeed get married and have an adorable little daughter named Morgan. In Infinity War, Tony talks about how Pepper Potts has an uncle named Morgan and describes him as eccentric. In the comics, Morgan Stark is actually a cousin of Tony, who schemes against him for control of Stark Industries. He's a villain and enemy of Tony Stark, so he's also definitely a strange choice to name the child of Tony Stark and Pepper Potts after. Tony finds his daughter Morgan playing with a blue helmet resembling his Iron Man one, and says it's part of a surprise for Pepper Potts. You don't have to be a brilliant Marvel theorist to see where this is going. At the end of the movie, in the big climactic battle, Pepper Potts shows up to help fight against Thanos and the Black Order, rocking her awesome new suit. In the comic books, Pepper Potts goes by the name Rescue in this suit, and she's a sometimes superhero who shows up to help Iron Man out from time to time. Other than the helmet, a big clue that Pepper was going to be taking on a more heroic role was when she told Tony Stark to go ahead and mess with the time-space continuum. That was a pretty big surprise, especially considering she was staunchly anti-Tony going up into outer space in Infinity War. In fact, prior to Endgame, she was trying to get him to retire from being a superhero entirely, so what changed her mind? We're gonna go out on a limb here and say probably the whole half of all life in the universe disappearing thing. The decimation was a real-life evaluating moment for a lot of people, Pepper Potts included. Although her husband survived and they had a child together, it's clear Pepper was impacted by the decimation, what it did to the world and the mental state of the people living in it. While she acknowledged that her little family was fortunate, she clearly suffered some type of survivor's guilt knowing that so many other families weren't as lucky as her own. This is the reason why Pepper was supportive of Tony trying to undo the decimation, knowing full well what a massive risk it was. Sure, she could lose Tony, but frankly, the danger was far greater. Messing with time is a pretty dangerous thing, and has way more implications than going up into space does. But not only does Pepper heartily endorse Tony returning to the Avengers, but she clearly spends some time practicing with her own superhero suit, so she could help out. Does this mean Rescue is going to join the Avengers and take Tony's place? While this could be a possibility, it doesn't seem likely. Rescue is more of an occasional hero, and remember what we said earlier about Pepper Potts having a lot on her plate? She steps up when she's needed, but Earth has a lot of other people looking out for it right now. That is an area where Pepper could definitely step up. We know Tony was mentoring Peter Parker, and it seemed like that task will now fall upon Pepper since Tony's gone. And while Parker may just need an occasional pep talk or an oversized novelty check, we expect new superheroes to be popping up in the MCU. At the funeral of Tony Stark, we spotted an unfamiliar looking person standing by himself. Clearly, the event was for close friends and important MCU characters only, so what was he doing there? Well, we don't blame you if you didn't recognize Harley Keener, the young boy who Tony befriended in Iron Man 3. We know Harley was interested in science and superheroes, so could he be poised to be part of the next generation of heroes? Maybe even becoming the MCU version of Iron Lad and spearheading the Young Avengers. In fact, Marvel Studios has been teasing a Young Avengers movie for some time now, and it seems as though we've seen plenty of younger potential heroes in the MCU lately. There's Scott Lang's daughter, Cassie Lang, who talked about being a superhero in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Thanks to a time jump, she's older and could become a hero known as Stature just like she does in the comic books. We also have Clint Barton's daughter, Lila Barton, who we saw training to shoot a bow and arrow. There are a lot of logistics involved with being a team of superheroes, and they need plenty of resources and guidance. 
This is an area where Pepper has experience and could be a valuable resource for the next generation of Marvel superheroes. What do you think is in store for Pepper Potts? Do you think she's going to take on a greater role, or will she be mainly focused on raising her daughter Morgan? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below, and then click on that subscribe button for more videos from us here at CBR. Thanks for watching.